How do you take admired, successful integrated amplifiers, amplifiers respected and acclaimed all around the world, and make them even better? That's the question that faced the engineering team at our London HQ when they set about creating the second series of our renowned CX range. It starts with listening to what came before and working out where progress is possible. The first step was to completely overhaul the digital input stage. CX amplifiers have always been designed to be equally adept with both digital and analog sources, but the quality of performance from digital sources is always improving. Digital to analog converters, DAX for short, are improving all the time too. Our engineers specified ESS Sabre DAX because of their support for higher resolution digital files, their incredible precision and their super low jitter. The CXA61 features the brilliant ES9010 K2M DAC and the CXA81 has the amazing ES9016 K2M chip. So digital information coming into these amps is precise, accurate and perfectly organised. It's not all about the DACs though. CXA61 now has a class 2 USB input, just like the CXA81. So both amplifiers are capable of supporting 32-bit 384kHz PCM files and DSD256 from a Mac or a PC. Built-in Bluetooth reception is another important digital upgrade. Thanks to Aptex HD support for high-res 24-bit 48 kilohertz, CXA owners can say goodbye to optional Bluetooth dongles and hello to a fast, convenient, and high-performance connection. From a sound perspective, both amplifiers have undergone extensive tuning, receiving upgraded capacitors and op-amps, and this painstaking engineering work has contributed hugely the emotive, engaging, and class-leading sound of the new CX amplifiers. CXA61, for example, is a punchy and upfront listen, delivering your entire music collection with dynamism and excitement. It has the openness, detail, and precision it needs to give you a complete audio picture. But this fidelity isn't at the expense of enjoyment. CXA61 hits hard, but with complete control. And as a result, it has the drive and attack to make your music sound thrillingly alive. It's no blunt instrument, though. Whenever music takes a turn for the subtle or the more contemplative, CXA61 has the detail retrieval and the low-level dynamic prowess to communicate harmonic information in the most natural and emotionally engaging manner. And the CXA81 is the same, yet somehow even more so. The sort of music you like to listen to makes no difference to this amplifier. It's a master of tone and texture. It never overlooks even the finest details. It's able to communicate the most affecting elements of a recording in the most direct and unforced manner imaginable. Every way in which music is most elemental, no matter if that's bass so deep and solid you can feel it, or a voice so eloquent it raises goosebumps, or a full orchestra all bearing down on a composition as a single entity, the CXA81 puts you right at the heart of it. If ever a piece of electronic equipment could be said to be moving, on the most basic level, CXA81 is it. It's no wonder that it was recently named Stereo Amplifier of the Year at the 2019 Watt Hi-Fi Awards. Both CXA61 and CXA81 sound exactly like what they are, the result of hour upon hour of endeavor by engineers striving to bring you the most complete music picture possible. You can find out more about how this was achieved at cambridgeaudio.com or hear for yourself at your local Cambridge Audio dealer. Hi there, and in this video we're going to be taking a look around the new A9110 budget stereo amplifier from Onkyo. And as you can see, it gets its looks from its big brother, the A9130. But first, let's take a look over the front panel to see what we're getting. Across the front of the 9110, we've got a recessed standby button. There's an IR receiver eye. We've got bass treble and balance, which can be used just for minor tweaking to get the sound just the way you want it. There's a motorized volume control. There's a pure direct button. Now this will actually completely defeat the bass, treble and balance. And then there's the phase matching bass. So PM bass or phase matching bass, what does it actually do? The best way to think of it is like an intelligent loudness control and we all know that loudness controls tend to be used at low volumes to help fill out the sound. Now the major drawback with using a loudness control is that you get a phase shift in the low frequencies and these problems can occur even up to 300 hertz and this in turn is detrimental to one of the most important areas which is the vocals and essentially everything becomes blurry and muddy with a lack of detail but PM bass has been designed to eliminate all of this muddiness which allows everything to snap sharply back into focus so carrying on with the front panel 
we've got a very simple elegant input display which is accompanied by a rotary input dial you just spin it round till you get to the input that you want it's as easy as that and then lastly for the front panel we've got a headphone socket and for the metric among you it's 6.35 millimeters or for the imperial among you that's a quarter inch 9110's remote allows you to control all of the parts of the amplifier not only that using our proprietary ri link you can actually control one of our cd players as well now i think we've covered everything across the front so now it's time that we went round to the back panel and take a look at all the connections now first up is the dedicated moving magnet phono input then we have four line level inputs and a line output We've also got a pre-out for a subwoofer and our speaker connections for left and right. Speaker binding posts will actually accept 4mm banana plugs, but you have to remove the safety plugs first. This can be done really simply by just using a pair of pliers that you can just pop out the plugs. This then gives you the option of using banana plugs or alternatively you can unwind the posts and use normal bare wire. Now the 9110 boasts 50 watts per channel using our rack amplification and i will be doing a separate video talking and discussing about what rat amplification actually is to support the rat amplification there's a massive el transformer inside along with custom capacitors for the best possible sound quality now, i think that covers everything that you need to know about the a9110 if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well thanks for watching take care and i'll see you soon bye bye The SDR Integrated Amplifier is a groundbreaking piece of equipment from Anthem. It's the first time we've included Anthem Room Correction in a two-channel piece, but at the same time, we've included a lot of classic features you'd find in an integrated amplifier. The SDR's robust power supply with low impedance capabilities allows for effortless music playback. The bass management on the SDR is something entirely new. You can measure one sub in mono, two subs measured together in mono, or two subs measured independently for stereo bass. Base management works with Anthem Room Correction for seamless integration. For users looking for more performance and power, we also have the STR preamp and amplifier available. The preamp offers more functionality like higher voltage output and a home theater bypass, while the amplifier that accompanies it offers quite a bit more power. With the resurgence of vinyl in the market, we've included two separate phono stages in the integrated amplifier, a moving coil and moving magnet. We've also included an adjustable rumble filter. The rumble filter in the STR is adjustable from 10 hertz to 60 hertz in one hertz increments. This is very useful to preserve the original recording that was found on the vinyl and cut out the unwanted noise. Like all of our high-end products, the SDR is made entirely here in Canada. If anything comes up in manufacturing, we can make quick changes. It helps with the process and the quality control. We take pride in our personal attention to detail and only use the highest quality of components. This is the integrated amplifier that combines power, features, and connections that deliver the highest level of audio performance. The Power Node is an integral part of the Blue Sound ecosystem that unlocks a world of high fidelity streaming. As a high-resolution streaming music amplifier, the Power Node connects directly to your existing speakers, providing unlimited access to streaming music services and your local library. The Power Node is a sophisticated 60-watt integrated amp capable of handling even the most demanding speakers. Its high-quality DAC makes the best of your music, no matter the source. Connecting to your home network is easy using dual-band Wi-Fi or gigabit Ethernet. Having control over all this is easy with the BlueOS controller app. Featuring dual optical analog inputs, a headphone jack, AirPlay 2, and two-way Bluetooth, the Power Node has redefined hi-fi systems for the modern world. Introducing the Power Node. Just add speakers. Discover what it means to be living hi-fi.